Hey guys, it's me and Al, and last part we did stage 10, and this part we did stage 5, or we're doing it right now, because that's what we're doing, stage 5. It's got gullies! Holy snap! Okay, so, basically we did the race, so we don't have to do the race, but unfortunately there's a lot of grappling, and that's, that's what's got me worried. Now, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to back it up, but I'm just going to kind of wander over here for a second. So anyway, we got to pick up ducklings, because that's our five collectibles of the stage. Um, there's also grappling hooks and whatnot. Everything must explode. Here's an enemy that never appears ever again. So anyway, yeah, so we don't have to do the race again, which is good, because I really think it's a really throwaway thing. I'm thinking it may be possible to get coins, but I just, I'm not 100% sure about the, uh, I definitely know you can't do the boss, and you can't do the, uh, secret, secret token, I have no idea, but we'll be able to find it somewhere. Anyway, climbing. So anyway, the city is over there, which is kind of weird, because, like, aren't we in, like... Oh, here's one thing I don't understand, is how come this is a steel... This is, like, chicken wire, and yet... These boxes are just passing through it like butter. Now you may be wondering, what am I doing over here? Well, I think you can... I think one of the chickens is there. Chickens? No, it's a duck! It's a duck, you dumbo! Oh. You can try jumping in the... Yeah. Duck. Really weird design for that. I, I don't understand how this stage would work in a real-life scenario. Oh, you can also use your rocket boots, which you get in stage 7. Just to get out, like a ton of sticker. Oh wait, commentary! Um, now we're not gonna go up to the other alley just yet. We're gonna actually do this bit because Oh here's an annoying thing. <laughs> That's funny. Um I guess so. No no here's the thing, you got you gotta There are no ladders in this game. They're all poles, which is kind of annoying when you have two ladders next to each other. Cause then it's like you have four poles. It's a bit confusing on the design there, eh? Also, yeah Wow, I suck. But, um, yeah. So, not only are you having to try and suffer from this design of the stage, I'm not saying it's a bad game, I'm just saying I don't, I hate this stage! Ah! Hate it! Yeah, you just gotta walk on these narrow platforms. I mean, come on. This is stage five. Which you need to do stage 10 in order to pretty much do. Anyway, electricity, because obviously Buzz likes electricity. So anyway, you can feel like busting these chops, I don't feel like it. Ah, goodness, okay, thank goodness I jumped on the bin, because now I can find myself back up. But again, yeah, it's just so annoying. I mean... A sane person wouldn't even go into these areas, let alone... Well, unless it... Well, you could be sane, but you just don't really live, but... A person who wants to live would never go up here. So anyway, you heard a duck just then, maybe. Anyway, so you can grab onto the poles, climb up... Because there's two stories of these things. I thought elevator hop was kind of bad with all the 
floors. Kinda weird that those lifts only go between those first few floors, by the way. In that stage. Ah, oh, crap! So anyway, we got grapple on up here. Thankfully it's linear, you never lost. You know the design, it's just like it's like what were they thinking? And then you gotta jump over here to get the duck. And there are no checkpoints throughout this whole thing. The tree, they were very kind with um, letting you uh, make the pole halfway. This, it's, it's a lot longer and there's no checkpoints. If you fall down, you gotta do all this again. I mean, I don't think kids have the patience for this. It's a good game and all, but it's just, oh my gosh, this stage. So much lens flare, it's like Unreal 3. There, not Unreal 3. Frostbite 2. I never liked Battlefield 3 that much, to be honest. Okay, off we go. Phew! Oh yeah! Remember, remember in the other stage where they gave you an indication on where to jump? Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, remember in the indica- there? Remember in the- Oh, you suck! Yeah, remember in the other stage where they gave you an indication where to jump? Yeah, th yeah, throw that out the window. I mean, gosh, it's just annoying. Because now I failed, I gotta climb the whole thing again. You know what, actually? There are no checkpoints besides this one box which allows you to climb over to. which allows you to climb up onto this so you can climb up to the second floor. But come on, first of all, that's not on the path. Two. It's not on the path. The three. It's um not on the path. And you also really can't climb. It sucks. Every everything has some annoying aspect about it. I mean, unless if you're like Ocarina of Time, it's impossible to do everything perfectly. I mean, Mario Galaxy has some complaints, but they're so minor. And then this. I mean, it has, you know, pretty good graphics. It did the lens flare. You know. How many other games use lens flares? Oh my gosh, mental blank. There's a pole. It sucks, because I put coins on it, and now suddenly there's no coins, and now I'm going, oh gosh. Okay, wait for that to go phew! Oh, come on. Jump on it. So yeah, this dark pole that you can barely see. 
Yeah. Now, if you're wondering, where are we going now? You jump into the gully. No, I don't know. It's the gutter. And you're going, okay, well that was a long way just for one of those, wasn't it? Jump the other way. Well, thankfully we got enough cash. Climb across. Do a jump. That would really be angry if you failed. And then you can jump in here. And oh my gosh, it's a boss. It's the clown top. You beat him just like every other boss. You shoot him. Jeez, I never figured. Sorry, I will keep on playing because unfortunately I'm, I'm like that. You can jump on top of this electric box. Ow! Holy snap, that was worth something. It's just this stage, by the way. Every other stage. The next, by the way, stage 11 isn't one of my favorites, but I can enjoy it, kind of. Because it's got a cool puzzle in it. But, uh, this stage, I mean, just goodness. I mean, it's not even that big of a stage, it's just... So annoying. You jump down here, you can finally get your extra life that I've really been needing. Oh, gosh. So anyway, now we're, now we're back on the ground, now we gotta climb over these boxes to get over to the other side that we've always been wanting. Oh. I have no clue, because I have not been timing any of this. Oh, come on! No! Hate this character. realize my health is a little bit low. Just a little bit, you know, not too much. Not too low, eh? <laughs> oh gosh, I'm doomed. <laughs> okay, so firstly, we might as well go over here because one is a battery. There's a duck! Holy duck! Now, I used to get lost in here, I don't know why. There's an extra life. Like, seriously, that's it. It's just a little bit of a side cut there. Bit of a square geometry, isn't there? That was a thing back in the old PlayStation. You could get away with how simple geometry at all. The N64 just couldn't really... I don't know, people just didn't do much on the N64 and... Oh, sorry, people did do much. They had their very fancy geometry on the N64. I mean, Mario 64 had lots of detailed environments, kind of. And it really set a standard for other games, especially like Banjo-Kazooie, which everybody loves and I've never played. Dang it! By the way, if you try climbing those poles, you can't, you can't get the... Um, points on top, if you climb the poles. Melons! Blended into the thing. I thought the melons were barking at first. They're quacking. And here's something, you can use your, um, your discs to destroy these guys, which is handy. You don't need the discs for any other purpose, by the way. Oh yeah. I'm missing one of these ducks. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. Aha, there you go. Is that the rocket boots? Uh, the secret token's there, but... Oh, crap. Ah, uh, The other duck is on that one branch. Again, with the annoyingness. What the... Oh my gosh, grab the table! Oh, grab the table! 
I'm gonna keep yelling until I grab that table. Okay, I'm good. I didn't need to grab that table anyway. <laughs> Anyway. Ah! <laughs> oh, I hate this stage. You have got to be kidding! Really strange coincidence. Um, okay. So with the A Bug's Life video game, okay, you'd like this. With the A Bug's Life video game, also made by Traveler's Tales, um, it also has 15 stages. And I didn't need to tread on that anyway. I need to go up here so I can, uh, what was I doing? Jump on that, yeah. Um, but with the A Bug's Life video game, there are 15 stages, 5 sets of... Oh, come on. 5 sets of... Can I actually do it just by grabbing onto these? But I can't do that onto these points anyway. Um, 5 sets of 3 stages. Last of each has... Um, is pretty much boss only. But, um... The other thing with those boss only stages is that... The regular stages don't have any bosses, and it's just that... The end stages have bosses, but they have the um, collectibles too. Uh, but anyway, in that game, the fifth level is this huge maze, and I don't like it. I think it's the most annoying of all the stages. This game, stage five, I think it's the most annoying. Alright, come on. Jump up there. What is wrong with you, game? Why won't you jump up there? Gosh. You know what's the worst thing? That's the last thing I gotta do. I'm just raging on. You know what? Can I just climb up there? Yeah. Oh no, they put your thingy there. They put the freaking box on the climby thingy. I am a hungry, I will eat something after this break. Me not. too. Yeah. You know, after I can grab this freaking thing! Oh, come on! That should be a song. Someone should put a song in there. Come on! It's like that new song. <laughs> Okay. The worst bit is that I just gotta climb up so far. It's not just a jump that I can just recover from. I have to start all the way from the beginning if I can't do that one jump. It pains me so much. That's all I thought was those watermelons quacking. You know one thing that's got me intrigued? It's weird, I did it before but I just didn't make it. And now suddenly, yeah. Oh come on, I'm facing head on. Fly directing to the forehead. Oh, 
Oh my gosh! Okay, here I am again. Going to jump. No time to lose. I have to get the rocket boots. And he just refuses to jump on it. Oh. And there's no checkpoints! Why do I put no checkpoints? I'm having to climb through the exact same thing over and over again. Oh my gosh! You know what's actually weird? The disc replaces the grappling hook. And the laser as well. But... It's kind of weird that you can't use both. Don't want to be in the way when my laser goes off. Maybe I just gotta jump over here. Over here. Holy crap, I could have jumped there all along. What was the point of the rocket boots? The only difference um between this and the above's life is that you know what actually? Come to think of it. Oh I don't like Sage Ten in the Bug's Life. Stage 10 in the bug's life is annoying. You remember that stage? Stage 10? You, you gotta deflect the bits of the bird. You, you, you haven't like played through that game, haven't you? Nope. Okay. Okay, this ugly duckling needs an ugly duckling's back. Yes. I should have exited. Non-dramatic exit. We got them all! Thank goodness. I'll need to play this game ever again. Oh wait, no. <laughs> I've got like four more stages left. Or five more, I can't count. Why? Oh gosh. But anyway, next stage we're gonna jump on to Alice Penn's house. Okay, see you kids next year. Uh